What's the difference between I must learn French and I have to learn French in English? Hi everyone, welcome to English with Aga. In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between must and have to, when they're very similar to each other and when they're very different, and also the difference between must not and don't have to which have completely different meanings. There is also a practice exercise at the end, so make sure you keep watching and make sure you subscribe to my channel and get your free English grammar booklet from the video description. Let's get started. So what is the difference between must and have to in English? We use both of them to talk about obligation and they have very similar meanings in this situation. For example, I must get a ticket, I have to get a ticket to travel on this train. So in both sentences, we're talking about obligation, something you must do, something you have to do. So they mean the same thing but sometimes there's a small difference between them. For example, I must learn French and I have to learn French. What is the difference here? So here the difference is that in the first sentence, I must learn French, I am talking about something that is coming directly from me. I am saying that I must learn French because it's something that I have decided myself. It's not something that somebody told me to do. It's not a rule or an obligation. It's just something that I am motivated to do myself. But when I say I have to learn French, it means this motivation is coming from somebody else. So at school, learning French is compulsory. That is the rule. Every student has to learn French. So in this case, it's not something I have decided. It's a rule that the school has decided. So must is internal. It is coming from me. Have to is coming from the school. Have a look at some other examples. I must remember to get a birthday present for Mike. So again, it's something I have decided. It's not a rule that I have to follow. It's just something that I have decided myself. I must get a present. I must remember to get a present for him. Do you have to wear a tie at school? So this is a question about a rule, something that is coming from somebody else the school. The school sets the rules. So I need have to to ask about that rule. Do you have to wear a tie? So going back to obligation, when we use have to and must to express obligation, which one is more common in spoken English? I would say have to is more common and must is more common for formal English or written English, where there is a sign, for example, that tells you what to do. You must fasten your seatbelts on the plane. Now let's talk about the difference between must not and don't have to. They actually have very different meanings. When you say must not, it means something is forbidden. So there is a rule that says you are not allowed to do something. You must not smoke on the plane. It's a rule. It's forbidden to smoke. You must not do it. But when you say you don't have to, it means there is no obligation to do something. It is not necessary to do something, but you can do it if you want to. For example, you don't have to pick me up from the airport, I can get the bus instead. So there is no obligation for you to do it, but you can do it if you want to. Now let's do a practice exercise. You tell me which one to use, have to 
must, must not, or don't have to. Students must or have to or both study for their exams if they want to pass. Which one is correct? So you can actually use either of them. They are both correct. We're talking about obligations, something that is necessary to do if you want to pass the exam. So students have to study or students must study hard if they want to pass. Dogs must not or don't have to enter the playground. Which one is correct? So here we're talking about something that is forbidden. So we need must not. Dogs must not enter the playground. I must lose weight or I have to lose weight. Which one is correct? So they are both correct but they have very different meanings. So I must lose weight is something that I have decided to do. It is my idea, there are no rules about how much I should weigh, but I could say I have to lose weight in some situations. So for example, I'm a professional boxer uh, and if I want to compete in a specific category, then I have to lose weight because otherwise I won't be allowed to compete. So it's a rule that is set by somebody else. I have to lose weight if I want to compete. She must not cook dinner tonight or she doesn't have to cook dinner tonight because we're ordering pizza. Which one is correct or are they both correct? She doesn't have to. So we are going to order pizza anyway. So we don't need anything else. And that's why it's not necessary to cook. She doesn't have to. She can if she wants to, but she doesn't have to. You must not or don't have to feed the animals at the zoo. Which one is correct? must not. So this is a rule about something that is forbidden. You are not allowed to do it. It is forbidden. So you must not feed the animals. How many did you get right? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my English courses on my website. I have linked it in the video description and I'll see you next time. Bye!